In this tutorial you will see how to do a cutout, cutting out the player from the background. Select a photo that is in focus, with background blur, shows action, where you can still see their face, or can be just a close-up of their face. Be sure that the player, subject is not too small in the photo to blow up to a poster. This image makes a good cutout, because it shows action, he has the ball, good background blur so that it will take less time to remove him from the background. If the background is too cluttered it makes it hard to cut out. When you do this type of posters for clients recommend you select the photo, since you will understand better what will make a good cut out image and what would be better in the background. You can let them select the photo or photos they prefer, and do try your best to include them. But let them know that the final poster might not include the photo they picked. Once you have selected the photo to use, make a copy of the background layer. To make a copy, click on the background layer and drag to the new layer icon. Once new background layer has been added, click on the background layer again, and add a new solid color layer in between the two. To do this click on the half black, half white icon, click on solid color. You can use any color but recommend white or light gray. The reason for this so that it is easier to see if you missed any spots and so that after you have made your cutout, it will have a transparent background and not a solid color. Click on background copy layer since this is what we are going to use to create the cutout. Click on lasso tool to make current tool. Click add to section and feather is zero. We are going to make a loose, rough selection around the player. You can take your time and make it closer, but we are going to do a quick and loose selection. Once you have made a rough circle around the player, go to Select, Delete and then Edit, Clear or hit the Delete key. Click on the Magic Wand tool, to make Current Tool. Be sure Add to Selection is clicked. Anti-Alias and Contiguous are checked. Sample All Layers is not checked. We'll start with the tolerance of 25, and adjust it up or down, as we make our selections with the magic wand tool. Now start clicking on the background areas, that you want to remove from photo. Start with the areas of higher contrast and where the colors are not too similar. We will do the more detailed areas last, like hair, face, face mask, hands, etc. Keep clicking, be sure that you are only selecting the background and not the player. Zoom in and zoom out as needed to see better. If you feel it is going too slow, and more can be selected at a time, because there is a lot of contrast and not many similar colors between the player and background, then increase the tolerance. If you are selecting too much and the player, then lower the tolerance. The more you practice, and do cutouts the better you will get. We have included this photo on your second DVD so that you can practice this tutorial. In is in the Pride Poster Files folder. Follow the lines of the player closely, it does not have to be perfect but it should be realistic, since this will most likely be blown up on a poster. Do not worry too much about the bottom of the photo, like his knees, since we will just be sure to have them at the bottom of the poster. If you select too much, then undo. To undo, you can do one of the three. Go to Edit, then click on Undo Magic Wand. Or go to Edit, then Step Backward. Or on your keyboard, Ctrl plus Z. But since in this case the colors are almost the same, we are going to use the Lasso tool. Zero Feather and Subtract from Selection, to remove from the selection the white number area of the jersey. Draw a line down the back of the jersey, that has been included in the selection and then draw a rough circle, into the white area of the jersey and finish the loop, to subtract this part from the selection. It does not have to be a perfect line, just realistic. Go back to the magic wand tool and lower the tolerance. Start selecting in that area again. If still picking up parts of the player then lower the tolerance more or skip that area for now and go back to it later with a different tool. Keep clicking, adding to the selection. 
keep following the outline of the player. Do not worry about areas away from the player, we will use the lasso tool to add those. Make the lasso tool your current tool, and click on Add to Selection. Zero Feather. Start lassoing areas that are not too close or part of the player. To add to your selection, be sure to include the outside edges of the photo in your selection. The reason, it may not show on the poster, but if you add a layer style it might show. Use the lasso tool for adding small bits that did not get selected with the magic wand tool. Go back to the magic wand tool. Zoom in as needed to be sure you are only selecting the background and not the player. To zoom in go to view, zoom in or on your keyboard control plus plus. It looks like too much was selected when adding areas around the glove. We will fix this by using the polygonal lasso tool, it can be found under the lasso tool. Then click on subtract from selection. Zero feather. Zoom into the glove area. The reason to use the polygonal lasso tool is, it is much easier to draw a straight line with. Click on towards the top and click on areas that follow the outline of the glove. Once you picked the areas to smooth out the fingers of the glove. Finish the lasso selection by clicking into the glove because we want to subtract it and click to connect the start point with the end point. Remember, it does not have to be perfect but realistic. Go back to the magic wand tool, add to selection and tolerance of 30. Scroll up and start add areas around the helmet to the selection. Watch closely as you are picking, to be sure you are following the line, outline of the player, and not picking parts of the player. If you pick too much, because the colors are too similar, then undo and lower the tolerance or skip that area, and come back it a bit with a different selection tool. We'll come back to the back. With the magic wand tool, start clicking around the face mask. You will have to remove the parts of the background that show through the mask. Since that is what would look realistic. We have added too much of the mouth guard, so we will undo the last selection. Lower the tolerance and select again. We change the tolerance from 30 to 20. Lowering the tolerance did not work. So undo and use the lasso tool instead. Add to selection and zero feather. Just be careful not to lasso the face mask. Select as much as you like, as long as it is not lassoing the parts of the player too. We will go back to the magic wand tool, since the right side of the helmet above the face mask, the colors are not too close. Increase the tolerance, if going to slow and there is a lot of contrast. Keep clicking and adding to selection. It looks like we have selected too much of the face mask. We use the polygonal lasso tool for this part of the face mask, since it is easier to draw a straight line within the lasso tool. Subtract from selection and zero feather. Click on the corner of the face mask that you want to remove from the selection. And draw close to the outline of the mask, and then click inwards the mask a couple of times to close the loop and subtract from selection. Go to the other side and draw a straight line up and over the top and then into the mask and click inside the mask a couple of times to close the loop and subtract from selection. Remember it does not have to follow the outline of the face mask perfectly, just look realistic. Go back to the magic wand tool. Zoom in. Clean up some of the areas close to the helmet. Clean up by clicking on areas close to the helmet to add to selection, and follow the outline of the helmet. 
we have added too much. Undo and lower tolerance, and try again. We have picked a bit too much near the shoulder pad. We will fix that later. We will keep adding to the selection, as long as we are not adding too much. Zoom in and add areas around the helmet strap. Again we added too much. So undo and make the polygonal tool the current tool, subtract from selection and zero feather. Click on the start of the jagged edge click a couple of times to smooth out, and then click into the jersey since we are subtracting. Still using the polygonal tool, change to add to selection and on the helmet strap, click on a couple areas to make straighter, and click a couple of times outside the strap, to complete the loop and add to selection. Smooth out the other side of the strap. When closing the loop be careful not to click on an area inside the helmet. Zoom out. Make the lasso tool your current tool. Add to selection. Zero feather. Use the lasso tool and start making rough circles to add areas away from the player. Add any little bits and keep adding areas by making a rough circle around areas to add. Zoom out. Keep adding more areas using the lasso tool. Zoom in, scroll around and look to see if more areas need to be added. Use lasso tool to add the rest of the outside edges. The reason to add the edges is if you add a layer style these edges may shown then. Of course you can erase them at that time. But find it easier and cleaner to take care of it now. Now we are going to smooth out the edges and put the finishing touches on the cutout. The reason for these steps is so that we have a clean, smooth edge to our cutout and so that it blends well with template. Go to view, zoom out, fit on screen. Look around to be sure all outside edges are added to selection. If not add now with the lasso tool. Select. Modify. Smooth. Sample radius 2 pixels. Select. Modify. Expand. Expand by 2 pixels. Select. Modify. Feather. Feather radius for this cutout we will use 5 pixels. Can use any number between 3 to 8. Use a smaller number for a more distant, full body cutout. Use a larger number for a more close up image, or if just of their face. The reason for these steps, is so that we have a clean, smooth edge to our cutout and so that it blends well with template. Go to edit, clear or on your keyboard, hit the delete key to remove the background. If all looks good then, Go to select, deselect. If you missed anything then undo and correct now. Now go to, file. Save as be sure to save as a fully layered PSD file, so that your cutout will have a transparent background and not a solid color. We recommend always saving with the maximize compatibility checked. The reason is so, that if you need to use any of your Photoshop, Elements PSD files with a different version of Photoshop, Elements you will be able to edit it in the different version. Hide the solid color and background layers, to see your cutout with the transparent background. If you do not see the layers palette, go to Window, Layers or hit F7 on keyboard. Hide a layer, by clicking on the eye icon, the color fill one and background layers. Your cutout is now ready to add to your template or poster.